Hello, my dears. It's me, Ordinary Girl Trying to Be Fabulous, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my subscribers and welcome to my non-subscribers and if you are not subscribed and you like my content I hope you will consider doing so and also um, I enjoy engaging with my comment section so if you would like to leave me a comment a like a share I would really appreciate it and then a few things about me I am a dog mom to two amazing little rescue dogs there was Olivia she is queen of the house and she knows it and that's the way it should be and then there is Annie and she is an education I love her madly I would not trade Annie for a thousand well-behaved dogs because you know if I had a thousand dogs I would be a hoarder but um I love her I believe she picked me and then a few things about my channel I do reviews um, I do some cooking videos I am a part-time weight loss channel um, and I you know do gardening I've done fashion hauls and garden hauls uh, just basically I think there's something there for everyone so um, if you would like to take a look, I'd appreciate it. And so would Annie and Olivia. You don't want to let down two sweet little doggies, do you? So, uh, with that, um, this is the final video in the MLMs that I have participated in. It's not the final anti-MLM video. I have a lot of videos to work on for that. There's a lot more coming. But the final MLM that I participated in was Avon. I sold Avon. Um, I got into Avon because my sister sold Avon and um, I wanted to help her out. And you know, Avon wasn't a bad company. Um, they're not predatory like other MLMs. Uh, previously, I had sold paparazzi and they're extremely predatory and um, I do not recommend so I sold Avon to help out my sister and you know they're not like I said they're not predatory when I joined um, there was a $20 kit that I bought and that got you a few things and now when you join you can like join for zero dollars but if you join for zero dollars you don't get any sort of kit um, you earn things when you make your first sale like uh, I was looking at it and I think you earn you make your first sale and you earn like 135 tubes of lip balm well okay I mean I guess you could give them away as gifts I don't know cuz uh, when I sold people weren't buying lip balm so the reason I got out of selling Avon is because I quickly found out that even though they are a better multi-level marketing company um, it's not expensive to join it's not expensive to stay active I think um, they never really specified, but I think to stay active, you had to sell like $40 every three months, which is doable because, you know, the makeup is not terribly expensive. Like, like I said, you had to sell $40 every three months, which is doable because, you know, the makeup is not terribly expensive the products are not terribly expensive as compared to things that you know they sell out um, on the store shelves so it's not hard to to stay active it's not like in paparazzi where you know you have to buy eighty six dollars worth of jewelry every month that's just gonna sit in your bedroom in hot pink boxes that you bought from Walmart and never sell 
Yeah, I'm salty. I'm I am still salty from paparazzi. If you have the chance to sell paparazzi, my recommendation is don't because it doesn't sell itself. So, um, yeah, but the reason I got out, I mean, cause you know, like I said, it's not that hard to sell $40 worth of product every three months. And as a consultant, you could easily buy that product yourself, which, you know, they tell you, they tell you the consultant isn't the customer, but the consultant is the customer, even with Avon. But you could easily, you know, make your, uh, make your active goal yourself. It wasn't hard because it wasn't terribly expensive. So, um, I was just like, you know, I would sell things every once in a while and then I would buy stuff and and I was staying active but then I found out that my sister who I signed up under who was my upline that she wasn't staying active so because she wasn't active she didn't get the benefit of my sales which is why I signed up so that was not good I didn't I didn't like that I, at the time I hardly knew anything about multi-level marketing and I really thought I was helping people out um, and so uh, that kind of that kind of soured me on multi-level marketing so um, what really got me out of Avon is you know I was like sitting there and I was on YouTube you know as this is before I had really started doing anything with my channel and I guess my phone or my tablet knew that I had looked up a lot of paparazzi so you know Google is part of YouTube and I guess I have cookies on my phone so I saw this really cute video about paparazzi and I was like I was curious because I was very um soured by my whole experience with paparazzi and you know this this one anti MLM YouTube person who oh, I'm not gonna name because I'm not a clout chaser she was talking about paparazzi and what a scam it is and like I seriously commented on her video that I wish I had known this like a year and a half ago I wish I had seen this video a year and a half ago I think she had released it like a week or two or something and um so then I fell down the anti multi-level marketing rabbit hole and I appreciate these people so much because they have really helped me see the light because at the time I was like watching these anti MLM videos but I was still in Avon you know still a consultant and um and so I was like um you know well I'm I'm not I'm not a consultant I don't sell it I don't push it on any of my family anymore so I'm not I'm not being predatory I only do I only you know still sell Avon for the discount and uh this one person who had made the paparazzi video she's like you know if you still sell for the discount you're still you're still fully in the MLM so that's you know and she said some other things but I can't remember but they were very very compelling so that's how I got out of Avon um, I quit selling Avon I joined an anti MLM Facebook page and I uh, never turned back and I'm very happy and um, I'm I don't think I've ever been happier it was just like a weight off my shoulders when I became anti MLM I'm just I just telling you if you're involved in it in MLMs and you feel down or whatever and you feel weighed down you should look at your MLM but that's just my opinion and I'm not a doctor or anything so yeah I joined this anti MLM um, Facebook page and they have been so helpful in 
uh, educating me on multi-level marketing and the predatory nature of it and how you are not a business owner. Um, cause if you were a business owner, you would pick out your products and set the prices. And I have had people in MLMs tell me that they do pick out their products and they set the prices. And I was like, it's not the same thing because you pick from products that have already been picked out for you and prices that have already been set for you. So no, you are not a business owner. And another thing that upsets me about multi-level marketing is that um, like some of my Facebook friends that are just really acquaintances, they never, they never say boo to me unless they have a business opportunity or uh, a multi-level marketing party they want me to participate in. So I just wanted to say, I see you. I see what you're doing. You know, you just see me as a number or a possible downline, which you know where it's going to freeze over before I ever participate in any MLMs ever again. And I'm never, I'm not even going to buy anything from an MLM because, you know, I'm not helping women. I'm not helping you. And, uh, you know, I'm just keeping you in a predatory business structure. And so that's my view of multi-level marketing. And um, that's basically what I have to say. And I no longer participate in multi-level marketing. Although, I mean, maybe um, if somebody could could help me out, if they do the same thing in my in my anti MLM pages, someone will bring up um, a new scheme, and I'll be like, oh, maybe I should try that. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm anti MLM. I I don't no no down no sit down calm down don't do it so um that's my that's how i came to be anti mlm i found lots of i found the the anti mlm um channels on youtube i found anti mlm pages on facebook and i became anti mlm myself and uh I have never looked back. So with that, I am going to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.